Hello, everyone. Welcome to Kama Jojo. Since deer ears are bigger than human ears, whether you're wondering that they can hear better than people. If we want to answer the question, we need to understand what is sound. Sound is made when molecules in the air vibrate and move in a certain pattern, just like electricity or light. This makes waves. Sherts are used to measure how fast sound waves can move the molecules of air. The faster the vibration is, the higher the frequency. Even though the frequency of human speech is lower than that of an arrow hitting metal, it travels farther than the arrow. Some studies have shown that both humans and deer are sensitive to low to medium frequency sounds in the same way. The author says that a deer's hearing of high frequency sounds is probably a little bit better than that of a human. Deer can hear high pitched sounds very well. Even though people can only hear sounds up to about 20,000 Hz, deer can hear sounds up to 30,000 Hz. But it can be just as hard for deer as it is for people to tell low frequency sounds like grunt calls apart. Like people, deer like sounds with a moderate frequency between 4,000 and 8,000 Hz. This frequency band has different sounds that deer make, like balls, bleats, and grunts. Mammals with antlers, like deer, can hear a little bit better than people. If you look closely, you can see that a deer's ears are made to listen for sounds that could mean danger. Their ears are made so that they can hear a lot of sounds and figure out where those sounds are coming from. Deer can figure out where sounds are coming from by moving their ears, but not their heads. White-tailed deer can quickly tell the difference between sounds that are dangerous and those that aren't. This is why a group of deer will run away when they hear two hunters whispering, but they won't move when they hear two squirrels playing nearby. The deer quickly learn that sounds made by humans, like a car door slamming or people laughing, mean that they are about to be hurt. Deer have a natural hearing sense that can be set off by any strange sound. Hunters can be heard walking in the woods, but no four-legged animal makes a sound even close to that of a person stomping through the underbrush to get to their stands. When a branch breaks in the forest, deer close by won't be too scared. When they hear metal clanging, a cell phone ringing, or a plastic bucket crashing to the ground, all deer, but especially adult bucks, become very alert. Snapping something as harmless as a bowstring or the door of a trail camera shut can be fatal. So, what can you do to keep the deer from running away? Keeping your mind on one thing is very important. Make sure that there are no sticks or leaves in the way of your steps if you want them to be quieter. You can throw deer off by walking at different speeds and making a squirrel call every now and then. Slowly and carefully make your way to your spot. If you see or hear something that could be a deer, you should stop what you're doing and wait for a few minutes. If you don't want to be seen as you walk to your stand, get rid of any bushes or branches that hang over the path. The lesson here is that hunters should take reasonable steps to avoid waking up a deer's hearing and vision. Be as hard to spot as you can by moving slowly, making as little noise as you can, and staying as still as you can. If you don't take these steps, you might see the white of a monster buck's tail, but you could lose your tag if you do. If you'd like to know more about animal behavior and hunting, you can subscribe us. Thank you.